to you the last rule of the changing rules I have spoken so far seven rules for bringing better betterment into, uh, into your uh, workplace and bringing change in interpersonal relationship so a quick recap before I speak on the last rule and the most important rule and that is I spoke the first rule that you might not have a disease that behavioral change can curse then cure second pick the right thing to change third rule don't decide, don't delude yourself about what you what you really must change fourth don't hide from the truth you need to hear fifth there is no ideal behavior rule 6 if you can measure it my friend you can achieve it rule 7 monetize the results create create a solution and today I talk about the last rule and I call it as a most important rule and that rule is the best time to change rule 8 the best time to change is now I have talked to so many people, given so many lectures, talks, conducted workshops, written so much, and interacted with far too many people. And in one of my lectures, I asked the class that, the, and, I, uh, and I got the feedback which. Uh, which I fully agree that almost 70% of the people they follow through what I have talked what I have said and what if they heard they implemented in their life and actually did something about it it depends on how degrees how much they did but something they did something they implemented in their life and that gives me greatest amount of satisfaction that at least something is happening I'm not ashamed of this uh, uh, fact which means that almost 30 percent of people was totally not interested they didn't bother uh, or I'll call them 30 percent non-compliance uh, rate actually I'm proud of my this non-compliance rate and amazed that it isn't much higher at all if 75 percent of uh, give heed to what you say and change 1 percent 2 percent 10 percent in various degrees I think I'm quite pretty happy if you have heard all my uh, I mean going you're hearing me this rule 8 I'm sure you must have heard rule all uh, seven rules also if you have come to this far I'm sure you believe that you will do at least something and if only one simple thing that is advised herein for example I say how tough can it be to stop punishing the messenger but I am resigned to the fact that while many readers uh, uh, will do this, many will uh, not. We have, I have talked, interviewed so many people who have participated in my talks, in my training programs uh, last one year, especially uh, pre uh, post corona virtual. I asked people who did nothing okay, why they didn't do something about it I talked to them they chat with me they gave me a call why they did not live up to the uh, commitments that they made after they heard my talks or my suggestions on leadership programs as far as we can uh, tell most uh, people who do nothing are no worse as human being than the people who change they are no they are no less intelligent they have about the same values my friend then why don't they do what they committed to do the answer can be found in a dream it's a dream i i have often and you may too is it goes something like this you know people reply you know I'm uh, incredibly busy right now 
In fact, I feel about as busy today as I have ever be ever felt. Some days I feel overcommitted. In fact, every now and then my life feels out of control. But we are working on some unique and special challenges right now. I feel like the worst of this is going to be uh, over in a couple of uh, months or weeks, coming weeks or months. And after that, I'm going to take a couple of weeks, take a time, little uh, time off, get organized, spend uh, some time with the family and start working. And then I'll do, uh, see that the change comes in. I'm going to work that I, and then and then I'm going to change. My friend, that time will never come. That time is, if it is there, it will be here. It is the rush right now. If whatever time you decide after tomorrow, it can be more crazier than today. It can be more busier than today. Something or the other keep happening and procrastination continue. Have you ever heard a dream that sounds vaguely like this? That I've been having this dream. And how about working, walking the, uh, uh, your thought, your dreams, your uh, commitments to, uh, uh, and making them a reality? My friend, delaying for whatever reason is, no, is the biggest disease we do it. Because those reasons, we do not know what is in for tomorrow, how the day unfolds itself tomorrow. And the kind of the reasons we are giving today will keep giving tomorrow also, my friend. Perhaps, perhaps this is the, this is the time to stop dreaming of a time when you want to be. Uh, then, when, then you won't be busy. You will be free because the time will never come. That time will never come. It's a dream, but it's also a, a mirage. Uh, also a mirage, I would say. I have learned that a, uh, that a hard lesson, uh, trying to help real people change real behavior in the real world. There is nothing, there is no couple of weeks. Look at the trend, uh, trend line my friend, sanity does not prevail at all. There is a good chance that tomorrow is going to be just as crazy as said, just as busy, uh, just as... Uh, uh, uncomfortable as it is today. Remember my friend, the rule number 8, the best time to change is now is very important. No rule will be, previous rule will be effective if you don't consider that the best time to change is now. If you want to change anything about yourself, my friend, the best time is to start is now. Ask yourself what I am willing to change now and just do that and that's more than enough to bring changes in your workplace in your performance and in your interpersonal relationship thank you very much